In this video, we'll guide you through the steps that you need to take to create a uh, simple jQuery photo gallery inside a web page. In the assignment folder on eCampus, there are several files that you can download to follow along with these steps. There are four images that we'll be using to make the slideshow. There's also a couple of uh, extra images that you can use uh, at the end. I'll show you how you can use these. I will download uh, slider one through four as well as the other files. I'll take this opportunity while I'm downloading into my server to create assignment seven folder, create a new folder, call it assignment seven. And I will be saving these images inside a new folder called images. I will download the rest of the images and I will fast forward to that moment so I don't bore you with all this downloading. So now I have all my images downloaded. There is some other information in the resources area here. There's going to be a couple of scripts that we'll be using, the jQuery scripts, the jQuery UI script. I do have a link to where you can find the latest versions of these scripts. You would go into Google Developers, open up jQuery. The ones we're using are the jQuery snippet up here, as well as the jQuery UI down here. I have also included a link to a Dropbox folder where you can find the same files we just downloaded as well as the jQuery script we'll be using. I'll slide over into Dreamweaver, refresh my files and find assignment 7. There's assignment 7 and the images I just downloaded inside the images folder. I'll put the focus on assignment 7, go to file and create a new document, HTML5, create and I will call this jQuery gallery. I'll switch into the sign mode and I will uh, minimize my files so that they're out of the way. And the first thing I'm going to do is to insert a division. At the assertion point is fine. I'll give this a class of slider. The whole jQuery gallery will be inside of this slider class. And what that means to you basically is that on any page, you can add this class. You can modify the size of the division and uh, use it in basically any page that you're designing. I'll begin by inserting the pictures that we downloaded. I'll go to insert and insert an image. I'll find slider one. It's an image of some kind of barge. I didn't delete the dummy text, but I can do that right now. I'll just highlight and delete. I'll click on the image. It's 960 by 400. All of the images are this size. I'll go into the alt and give it a description just so that this is a valid HTML page. I'll call it barge on the river. I will insert the second image. Slider number two, which is right here. I will select it to make it active. This is a picture of a bridge, bridge over the river. I'm assuming this is a river or some kind of harbor. I will insert a third image, insert image, slider three, click on it, give it a description. It's a yellow Mustang on a pier. And then I will insert one last image, number four. And it's a night view of the harbor. Before I go on, I'll save this file and call it index inside of assignment seven. That way I can get a preview of what it looks like see it on my browser and there's the four pictures that I've added once we add the jQuery script we will only be able to see one image at a time close this come back to Dreamweaver I'll click on the first image to make it active before starting to add CSS code I will add a source I will create a new CSS file and call it styles first selector I want to add will be the div slider itself I can find it on the bottom left here, div slider, to make it active. 
That way I can go into styles and click on selector plus, your slider. Now all of the files are 960 by 400 pixels. That's where I want to keep the width and height at. And because now this division is overflowing with four images that will not fit in the space, I will go below on the uh, properties, find my overflow. My horizontal overflow will be changed to hidden. And my vertical overflow, overflow Y, will also be changed to hidden. That means that anything that goes beyond the margins of the uh, CSS code will not be visible. I can still see it now, but that will change as soon as we start coding jQuery. If I were to update this on the server right now, put it and load it up on the browser. You will only be able to see what's inside of the uh, division. All four images are actually being displayed right now, but they are stacked one on top of the other. What we need to do next is to be able to shuffle them and display them one at a time. Coming back to Dreamweaver, I will add an additional style by selecting the image. Click on plus to add the slider image selector. This will once again be constrained to 960 by 400 px. 960 and 400. And because jQuery will be responsible of the display of the images, I will set the display to be none. That is, HTML will not be taking care of this. It will be the jQuery alone. If we were to look at this online at the moment, let me put it and visit it again. If I reload the page, nothing will appear because we have set the display to none. And depending on how large your images are or how fast your server may or may not be, you really don't want your uh, users to be staring at a blank screen. So in Dreamweaver, inside of this image slider, we can go into the slider and in the background, select an image, specifically the image that I gave you, the loading GIF, click OK. This is a little spinning wheel graphic. You can't really tell until it's loaded live on the page. I will change the background repeat to none so that we only get one image and we want this somewhere in the center. So I'll change the position to the horizontal center as well as the vertical center. So when we're loading our page, we get to see that something is actually happening. I'll reload the page and now something's loading. And just so that our page is not so lopsided, I'm going to go into the code, find my body, so add a selector to the styles, and uh, change this width to 960 as well. Give it a margin of 0 on top, and then auto on the left and right. So it begins to look like a web page. I'll go back into the assignment page and copy the first script. This is the jQuery script link. Select and copy. This code goes just before the head tag ends. I'll add a couple of spaces here and paste what I just copied. I'll add another space. Go back into the page and copy the second line. And now the jQuery library will be loaded every time that this page is opened. I'll add a couple more spaces after that script. Go back to my Dropbox. I'll open up the jQuery script and copy this text. And we can place that right after the jQuery scripts. 
pasting. Once this is placed on the page, we need to tell jQuery that it needs to run. The script we just added has a function called slider. And we can have it load on the page as soon as the body is displayed. So inside of the body tag, I'm adding a space and telling it that on load, it should uh, get the code called slider. I'm typing in slider with a capital S. I'm opening and closing a couple of uh, parentheses, adding a semicolon and closing the quote. As soon as this web page displays the body tag, it will call upon the slider function. Inside the slider function, you'll see the jQuery instructions is basically going to be calling sliders by their IDs, starting with number one, going through number four. It will fade in the uh, image and then display it for 5500 milliseconds. And then after that, it will hide it by sliding to the left. And then this loop will tell it to keep on going until it runs out of images and then reset the count to one and start again. And since this is looking for a slider with an ID of one, we need to add that ID here on the images. I will find the image tag and tell it right after to give it an ID of one. I'll type in ID equals open quote one space. I will do the same with the second one. Here's a ID equals two. The third one and the fourth one. Now let's see what it looks like. There's the first image. The second one is loaded, sliding in. And then the third one and so on and so forth. You can use your own images on this assignment. Make sure to change the properties if you're going to be using different sizes. You can either code this uh, class into another page or you can build a page around this. To give you a quick example, uh, in the sign view, I will add a header and uh, put it after the start of the body tag. So it puts it at the very top. I'll call it uh, page header. Click OK. I will add a selector, here's my page header, I'll make it 960 pixels wide by say 100. I'll come back to the page header, replace this with uh, some text, my jQuery image gallery. I'll change this to uh, heading 1 add some CSS to it as well. I'll give it a margin on the side of maybe 20. I'll change the text to white and then make the page header have a back background. After the slideshow insert the before the end of the tag body so it'll be at the bottom give it an ID of um, shadow I will add a selector for shadow and in properties make it 50 pixels tall I'll delete the dummy text and give it a background image Specifically the one that I've uploaded, shadow.png, click OK. I will put this on the server. And see what it looks like now. So there's my slideshow using jQuery. I've added a couple of elements to the page. I could keep on building adding new images, adding another slideshow, adding real content, links, etc. There are plenty of options for flash galleries as well. 
jQuery is used uh, not only for slideshows, it's used for all kinds of things. However, it does so many things that really it, it would be a whole other class where you would need to learn all that. So good luck with this project. Let me know if you find any cool jQuery scripts out there that we could use in class.